Okay, all my friends out there in YouTube land, this is yours truly, Rockin' Dave, the real deal, North Fort Myers, Southwest Florida. And what I'm showing you guys here is, this is a, a wraparound bridge by a company called Goto, spelled G-O-T-H-O, -O, that company, Goto. That's how it's, that's how it's spelled, it's pronounced Goto, Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is that I see to have string breakage pretty much on this. This is a shallower uh, bridge. This is, happens to be a 1983 Ibanez artist. And whoever owned this guitar took the original whammy system that was on here. This predates, the, this whammy system that would have been on this guitar predates the Ibanez Edge tremolo system. So to get an idea what that bridge would look like, if you... Uh, Google or type in on YouTube um, the Ibanez Destroyer model of uh, Phil Collins from Def Leppard. Ibanez Destroyer Phil Collins model. You might see a close-up of that whammy uh, bridge. It was a locking, it was a double locking bridge, but a little different than what Ibanez went to when they used their uh, low-profile edge uh, whammy systems. Anyways, so I got this bridge, and it looks like it would fit my between my stud mounts because they're exactly between post to post, three and a quarter inches apart. So that's what this uh, bridge actually uh, has. It's uh, actually we got this at a, a store that's about a mile up the road from us. WD Music Products. If you can get that, go on their website. They are a major supplier for anything that's parts related they do have a, a, a music store a showroom where they do sell guitars now but they uh do a lot of worldwide shipping i think they supply for gibson fender and heritage i'm, I'm just to name a few so they are major major parts store so here's the thing with this it is a low profile wraparound bridge uh, I want to show you something here. I never really seen one like this. It has these little like springs So it comes with both mounting studs. Okay, but this is how this turns and it has the Allen key So you got a little Allen key and I did match this with This so so far it's about the same size so what's really kind of unique with this is that if you look at see the screw it's kind of grooved but that doesn't mean it goes like this simply you put it in here and spring loaded so it won't come off so you know you don't have to worry about if you take all your strings off here off the bridge that the bridge will fall off no it's um it'll stay on oh and then you do have your set screws back here as well because what this does uh, it'll move it'll move the wraparound bridge back from this post and then it's got a screw on that side back from that post plus you have adjustable saddles so it's fully adjustable I got the gold plated one because I want to match the gold hardware on the Ibanez okay so let's see if I can get this off without dropping curse words <laughs> okay Kind it off. Okay, because we will be installing this. But I want to show you something here. Usually on wraparound bridges, the strings uh, thread through the bottom. But on here, they actually come through the top. And let me flip this around. And then they come out here. And then you just wrap it around. So you can actually get pretty low action if you needed to. So I'm going to go and put a B string through here because that's what I opened up. And I want to show you guys something. Um, on the Gibson, when I do the top wrap around the top, a stop bar tailpiece, I just started doing that. Um, you have to, I was taking an extra ball end from a cutoff string because... If you bring the wrap around, you get the th from the threads of the strings. You'll, I'll show you in a moment here. 
So it goes through here. And obviously, it comes out like this. So if you have this on the guitar where you got a nice paint job, you may want to stick a piece of paper or something so you don't scratch it all up. That's kind of a concern right there. But it, that that that's a concern, but you know what? If you break a string at a live gig, you just use you just use the string thing, you know, the pack, put it underneath there, and bam. Because what is nice with this concept, and this is why I went with this, if I had to break a string, it seems it's quick. Time is very of the essence during the live gigs. Now, okay, so you see this? Now you see all that wrap around there? So this is why they recommend, like uh, when you top wrap on a Les Paul or a Gibbs or you know any Gibson style like that, to save your broken your, your strings, take the ball end off the broken string, and th bring that ball end down here. You just th thread it through that eye right there, and then it gives you more slack. It kind of pushes the string back, so it'll push that wrap around, so you don't get stuck on your hand when you do palm muting. But I want to show you this. So here we go. Comes through here. Now, look at this. You do see some wrap around. You see that? From the thread of the string. But, when you come around here, you know, it, it's not going to it's not gonna pierce like up here. So, let's say if you're doing palm muting. If you're doing any palm muting, and you know, some of these right here, it's like a little barbed wire. You're not going to cut into your hand while you're doing palm muting playing that. So, that comes right down there, wraps around, and voila. So... Um, I just want to do this video as quickly as possible just to show you what this bridge entails. Um, I'm going to be posting up a live uh, a live stream of me actually installing it on this guitar. And if there's anything that happens after doing any modification, why well, I got to take it in, well, okay, then so be it. You know what I mean? But hopefully that's not the case. But this they, they say these bridges should fit any Epiphone you know, like Les Paul Jr.'s, um, because it is on a little bit of a metric system, and the same thing with this, this bridge that's on this Ibanez, it is a shallower bridge, so if I could do this, it's a shallower bridge, and it's a, it's solid, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's solid brass, a little fine tuners, but the problem is I have, my issue is string breakage, my theory is your string sits on the saddle, the ball end is there, and you have this much of space of string. I could be wrong with my theory, but you have enough space between here and here that this could wiggle and move very slightly over the course of time. This I, I say this because whenever I'm using any of the guitars with the Floyd Rose system, I don't get any string breakage because you have about that much of a string from the saddle into the uh, little piece where you lock the string in. And even though it's a hard 90 degree, it's still a very small distance. So kind of hard to wiggle. But when you start getting here and then like on Les Pauls further and then on tellies or stretch or any type of guitar where you go through the body, now your, your, your distance between the ball end and where the string actually sat on the saddle, you got about that much of a distance. And over the course of time, with your e this happens even when I'm playing rhythms, funk rhythms or anything, anything like that. The strings will pop. They always pop over here. My theory is not not just because you know you could sand these down. Yeah, I've tried that. You get the string savers. Yeah, I tried that. And my opinion and my theory is there's still enough string distance between where the string actually sits on the saddle. To where the ball and actually is and is there enough of a movement between here and there that could cause that friction you know for it to break i will find out when i put this bridge on this wrap around and we actually use it um hopefully this will be it'll solve it but if anyone is interested and these, I think this was like sixty bucks or maybe eighty bucks. I can't, I, I can't remember because we bought a, uh, we bought a stool, a folding stool that's got like a guitar stand, and an extra bar so I could rest my leg when I play classical guitar. I don't have to bring an extra foot foot rest out. But anyways, so this is it, man. Very low profile. I hope I, I hope this is not like 
like blaring in people's eyeballs. But I'm just trying to make this as clear as possible. But just just with this wraparound bridge, uh, your studs go in there. You could adjust your saddles from here. But I think the, the, the biggest thing is the string it feeds through here. And you could see it comes down on an angle. So put, you know, like a, the wrap of the string. And then you won't scratch. If, if you had to do a, a string change without taking the bridge off at a live gig, you don't want to scratch your strings. We'll see. But I so far I like this concept of quick string change. It's easy to see. It's easy to do. And you're done. All right, my friends, I'll post up the uh, live stream and let's hope that it all goes well. But um, that's the Goto Wraparound Bridge. Hope this has been informative. Until our next video, you stay safe, strong, and true. Rock on and God bless you, my friends. Thank you for watching. As always, take care and we will see you on the next video. God bless.